Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we'll dive into one of the most essential tools in Affinity Photo, the Color Picker tool. Let's get started. To begin, let's check how we can enable the Color Picker tool. Well, actually, there are a couple of different ways to activate the Color Picker. You can select it from the toolbar, or you can use the shortcut key I to enable it. You can also use the color picker from the color panel by dragging the color picker from the color panel. The final method is by holding the Alt or Option key while you start dragging when the brush tool is enabled. Keep in mind that the last two methods are what I like to call the quick picker, as the color picker tool does not really get activated. After selecting a color, you'll return to the brush. Once the color picker tool is activated, you can either directly click to select a color or click and drag while your mouse button is pressed. This will open up the magnifier, allowing you to precisely select the color. The current color will be shown below the magnifier with the corresponding color values based on your document color. In this case, I'm working on an RGB document. If this was a CMYK document, the CMYK colors would have been shown. Once you have found the color you want, release the mouse button and the color will be selected as the active color in the color wheel. You can also quickly select multiple colors by holding the control key. While the control key is pressed, all the selected colors will be added to the document color palette. As in my case, if there is no document color palette, a document color palette will be created, hence the notification from the assistant. You can access the document color palette from the swatches panel. Next, let's explore the options for the color picker tool, which are available in the context toolbar. Keep in mind, these options apply only when you enable the color picker tool. They don't apply to the quick picker method I showed earlier. So, we got the following options. Apply to selection. When this is turned on, the selected color will be immediately applied to the active object or layer. As you can see, the current active layer is the ellipse layer, and when I select the color, the ellipse will directly get the selected color. Let's undo that and turn this option off and reselect the color. Notice now that the selected color is not directly applied, but the color picker color in the color panel gets updated. I usually keep this turned off as I don't want to accidentally change a color of an object. The source, current layer or global. When set to global, the visible color will be selected. If you set this to current layer, the color information from the current layer will be used. For example, as you can see, the selected color is not the color we see, but the actual color in the active layer. Also notice how the values are all zero in the color value preview below the magnifier when the current layer does not have a color. The radius defines how the color should be picked. The point option picks the color from the selected pixel. And then we have averages like 3x3 three three up to 257x257. Two two Choosing a larger radius averages the selected color over a wider area, rather than picking it from a single pixel. This averaging effect is beneficial because it helps to avoid color noise. Notice how I get a more bluish color when I have a high radius, due to the blue pixels around the selected area. Using a lower radius from the same area gives a color closer to the selected pixel. The Quick Picker option, which can be accessed by holding the Alt or Option key while dragging when using a brush, allows you to quickly change the color of your brush. This also works wonderfully when setting gradient colors. Just make sure to select the gradient color point and use the Quick Picker to select a color from the document. Here is a hidden feature of the Quick Color Picker, which you might not have realized. You can actually sample colors outside of your document. When I activate the Color Picker tool, notice how I can't select a color outside the document canvas area. But when I trigger the Quick Picker, I can go beyond the canvas and select a color anywhere from the screen. 
even outside of the application. Pretty amazing. You might have noticed that there is an additional tool under the color picker tool called the style picker tool. The style picker tool is pretty cool and I think it deserves its own video. Let me know in the comments if I missed a feature of the color picker tool. I hope you liked this video and if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe for more Affinity Photo Tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.